All new tonight at 11 taxpayers have spent millions funding body cameras to increase transparency and hold police accountable. A where's the money investigation finding that money is paying off, catching some officers breaking the rules, doing everything from failing to record video to acting unprofessionally. Our Nate Morbido found while the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department rarely disciplines officers as a result of regular body camera audits, the data suggests officer behavior is still improving as a result. These are videos the public never sees. More than 200 hours of footage randomly reviewed by supervisors every month. And for the first time, we have the audit results. Hey, this is on, by the way. The rare body camera footage that's actually released. Get on the ground, man. I don't want to sh have to shoot you. Gives us a snapshot of what police say. Hey, wave goodbye. They're all about to get gas. And do in extreme situations. Well, I was one of uh, the first one I think. But all the videos of the mundane traffic stops and arrests that take up most of an officer's time never see the light of day. The ultimate goal is for us to go from here to here and improve on that on that journey. Captain Michael Harris says rest assured inside CMPD supervisors randomly review video from each officer every month as part of an aggressive oversight program. And he says the department's professional standards division adds another layer, randomly pulling and watching additional body camera footage connected to felony arrests, searches, and more. We use it as a change agent for the department. The result, 13 to 1400 audited videos every month and hundreds of concerns documented every year. We use it as an opportunity for a supervisor to sit down with the officer Audit reports show the department monitors repeat offenders. However, Captain Harris says most problems are addressed not by a formal discipline, but rather training and counseling. When you counsel somebody, they usually don't do it again. Internal records show those audits have flagged more than 400 concerns related to tactics and safety in recent years. Several dozen related to language and driving, and at least 50 for courtesy, as well as a handful for use of force. Everyone slips up from time to time, but how we treat people, how we speak to people are paramount to our philosophy and our mission. Even so, Captain Harris says something else is at the top of his room for improvement list, the hundreds of failures to activate and record. That's where transparency lies. Records show whether intentional or unintentional, officers have failed to either keep their cameras on or hit record when dispatched or interacting with the public at least once a day on average in recent years. I would rather not have one at all. But considering how many videos we record every single day, it's not that bad. Despite some red flags, the data show an overall decline in concerns flagged by these audits since 2019. I think we've improved a lot. And citizens aren't the only ones benefiting. I'm going to leave my video run until we drive the devil out of here. Some folks believe that 90% of the time it exculpates the officers. Former FBI agent, federal prosecutor, and author M. Quentin Williams says these videos often help police more than hurt them by showing them following the law and policies when they use force. Uh, we enter. They're heroics when they come to someone's rescue. Remember this face. He's a or their patience in the face of verbal assaults. Captain Harris says CMPD is so committed in recent years, the agency has more than doubled its staff that reviews and analyzes body-worn camera data. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte. Very interesting. And if you'd like to see more detail on this Where's the Money investigation, as well as other reports our team has done, you can always find them by logging on to WCNC.com and clicking on Where's the Money. That is at the top of the homepage.